we are doing grade 10 trigonometry. We are looking at functions in, partic in particular. We're going to look at the sine function. Right, the sine function, like any other function, it will be written in an equation form. The form may be written as y is equal to sine theta, or it may be written as f at uh, theta is equal to sine theta, or g at theta is equal to sine theta, but it will be in the equation form. Also, with the trig functions, you'll be given an interval where the trig function will be. This one is theta is greater, less or equal to minus, greater or equal to 360 minus 360, greater or equal to 360. Now this is an inequality form. It can be also given in an interval form where the square bracket means including minus 360, the smallest value, and it will end with 360. The square bracket here means including 360. So it is important when you get a question paper to look at the interval where you are supposed to draw the graph or where you are supposed to do your answers because the intervals will differ with a particular question. Right, now we have an example here of a sine graph. This is a function of y is equal to sine theta, right? Now, when you look at the shape of the graph, it's a wave form. So the shape of the graph is the wave. And then each complete wave takes 362 complete, right? When you look at here, when you start here at minus 6, you go up, when down, when you're at 0, 360, the wave was complete. Then you started a new one. Go up, down, at 360, the second wave is complete. So this function is in a wave form, right? And then the next point is the high of the wave above the and below the x-axis is called the amplitude. This is my x-axis, the highest point is my amplitude. This is my x-axis, my lowest point is my, is my amplitude. This is my amplitude, this is my amplitude. Now, the amplitude, when you look at this graph, this graph, sine y is equal to sine theta. My amplitude, my maximum amplitude is 1 and my minimum is minus 1. Right, it is very important to memorize the following information. When you look at the domain, the domain is the x values that fu the function covers. This function, x values start at minus 360 up to 360. That's why you have the square bracket there that we include the minus 360 and we include also the 360. That's my highest value. My range is my y value. My highest value for y is 1 and my lowest value is, my highest value is 1 and my lowest is minus 1. We start with the lowest value. So it's minus 1 and 1. My graph doesn't go above minus 1. Above 1 doesn't go below minus 1. So my range is that. X-intercept. For any graph, X-intercept is where the graph or the function cuts the X-axis. So it cuts there, at minus 360, there, minus 180, there at 0, at 180, and it's 360. So we have written the coordinates of where my function cuts the x-intercept. It is important to memorize that the sine function will cut the x-intercept at minus 360 and 0, at minus 180 and 0, at 0 and 0, at 180 and 0, at 360 and 0. And then it has only one y-intercept because when you look at the graph, you can see that the y-axis, the graph cuts the y-axis at only one point at 0 and 0. Hence we have that. And then we have our maximum values. With this interval, we have two. That's our maximum value. That's another, um, that's another maximum value. Now, what is the coordinate for this maximum value? You can see your x value is minus 270 and your y value is 1. And this one, your x value is 90 and your y value is 1. Here are my coordinates. My minimum points, turning points for this function. My x value here is minus 90 and my y value is minus 1. With this, this side, my x value is 270 and my y value is minus 1. So this is the information that you need to memorize. If you have memorized this basic 
sign graph it will be easy for you to do the changes with the other graphs in the next lesson we'll show you how we do the changes with the other graphs when you get the, the, the equation that's different from the original one thank you